I'm Lucid Faith, and this is my guide to squadrons in Final Fantasy XIV. Jumping right in, though, what are squadrons? Well, squadrons are your own personal group of NPCs that you can manage and send on missions for your grand company. You gain access to squadrons once you hit the grand company rank of second lieutenant. The first thing that you'll need to do is recruit more members. To do that, you'll need to complete entries in your challenge log, and each time you complete one, you'll have a chance of an NPC applying to join your squadron. When it does happen, a message will pop up informing you that someone has applied. Then go back to your barracks in your grand company. From there, you can click on the enlistment papers on your table to see who has applied. Before accepting them, you can view their information, including their class and their stats. Now keep in mind you can have eight members total in your squadron and when you hit the cap of eight you can still recruit more members but now you'll have to choose a member to discharge once you have your team you can train them in your barracks click on the regimen board and then training courses the training regimen menu will pop up showing you what courses you can use and on the right side, you will see the squadron attributes. These three attributes are physical, mental, and tactical. Each of the courses will increase one or more of your attributes. The amount of points you get to spend on your squad will depend on your squadron rank. At the maximum rank of three, you will have 400 attribute points to distribute. Once you are at your cap, doing another training will take away points from your highest attribute. Each of these trainings takes one real world hour to complete, and you can do up to three of these per day. You can change the class of one of your recruits by clicking on them in the barracks and selecting change class. From there, a menu will display that lets you select the new class. You'll need tomes called Contemporary Warfare something. That something is either Offense, Defense, or Magics. You can get these from your Grand Company's Quartermaster once you hit the rank of First Lieutenant. Keep in mind that your recruits do not get the job roles. They stay at the base class. You can also change your recruits' glamours once they hit level 50. Simply click on them and then click the outfit button at the bottom. This will bring up a preview of what they are wearing and then click the apply glamours button to be taken to the customization screen. Here you can change the glamour of each slot. You can apply the looks of items in your inventory, glamour dresser, or armoire. If you do choose an item from your inventory, you will have to supply a Glamour Prism. Now that you've recruited a new member and trained your team up, you're ready to send them on on a squadron mission. To do this, click on your squadron sergeant NPC in your barracks. A menu will then pop up allowing you to choose what mission and what squadron members to send. The important bit of this is the required attributes and current attributes lines at the top. You will need to make sure that your attributes are at or above the required values. If one of your attributes meets the requirements, you only have less than a 50% chance at success. If two of your attributes meet the requirements or above, you'll have a 50-50 shot at completing the mission successfully. Then, if all three attributes meet the requirements, you will have a 100% chance at completing the mission. Now, these missions will take 18 real-world hours to complete, meaning you can only do one a day. Once you hit Squadron Rank 2, Command Missions Unlock. These missions allow you to take your squadrons through a dungeon. To do this, Simply click on the Squadron Sergeant NPC in your barracks and select the Command Mission option. This next menu that pops up allows you to choose the dungeon and who comes with you. You do have to maintain the balance of one tank, one healer, and two DPS, and you have to keep in mind that you're filling one of these roles. 
Now, while you're in the dungeon, your recruits will follow you around and you can command them with three different buttons, engage, disengage, and limit break. If you are not in the role of the tank, you'll have to select each monster individually and click engage. The tank AI isn't great and often doesn't pick up the aggro of enemies that you don't tell them to. When you take your recruits through command missions, they have a chance to improve their battle tactics or even learn new battle tactics altogether. These battle tactics are stat adjustments for your NPCs. You can view them by clicking on one of your recruits in the barracks and then clicking on display orders. There are four different battle tactics to choose from. Each one offers a different buff in three areas, HP, damage dealt, and damage received. Simply click on one of the unlocked battle tactics to change to it. In order to rank up your squadron, you need to complete special squadron missions called flagged missions. The first flagged mission appears when one of your squadron members hits level 20. It's called Void Scent, and when you complete it, you will hit squadron rank 2 and command missions will become available. When one of your members hits level 40, the second flag mission will unlock. This one's called Crystal Recovery, and completing it will gain you squadron rank 3, which is the highest squadron rank, and you'll get the grand company rank of first lieutenant. The last flag mission appears after you've completed five unique command missions. This means taking your squadron through five different dungeons. Then, the flagged mission of Sapper Strike will appear. Completion of this mission will grant you the Grand Company rank of Captain, the highest rank in the game currently. And that concludes my guide to squadrons. This guide was a little bit different of a style. Let me know if you liked it, if you have any feedback. If you enjoyed the video though, leave a like. If you have any questions or feedback for me, leave comments down below. And if you want to see more content, make sure to subscribe. And if you just want to chat and hang out, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, starting at five o'clock central. But last but not least, I remind each and every one of you that you matter. I'll see you in the next one.